All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next edition of the Creative Workshop in Bali Praia. My name is Mikey Moran, and um, today we have some special guests from Pioneer Indonesia. <laughs> um, it's our first collaborative workshop with Pioneer, so um, we want to thank them for being here today, and we are going to be demoing some record box DJ hardware, particularly the DGJ 400 and the DGJ 1000. Um, just for people who have not been to Bali Praia before, I just want to explain some admin stuff. Uh, the toilet is back there. <laughs> and um, in case anyone wants to um, order any food, we have our whole array of waiters and, and peeps behind the bar. So just so that we don't interrupt the flow of the, con of the presentation, just hands up and then someone can attend to you. And then in case anyone has any questions while the presentation is going, just, um, just raise your hands up so that we can, we can go uh, straight away. So um, what's gonna happen is that um, Pioneer is going to be doing a keynote on both, the, um, on both the controllers and then we will do a demo of demo showcase of both the controllers and we will leave the controllers out so that any of you do that do want to test it out, we will be leaving it for you guys as well. Anyways, without further ado, I would like to invite Max from Pioneer to do the presentation. Uh, hello everyone, my name is uh, Max Adam Kamil, I'm from Pioneer DJ Indonesia. So. It's not gonna be a workshop because since I just learning about DJing, so it's gonna be a sharing session. So when you guys have a question or something, just raise up your hand and then asking me about everything. Maybe you can ask him <laughs> because <laughs> he's professional DJ in Bali. Who doesn't know him? <laughs> this is Echa. He gonna help me to doing the demo of this product. I know this product is a uh, very simple product. This is a DDJ 400. We already launched it maybe around one year ago, one year ago. But the excited one is the DDJ 1000. We have it on the upstairs. You can do everything upstairs. You can, you can ask HR about everything there. So I have a question who is uh, already performing in here, some club or something? Or you guys just learning about DJing? Oh, okay. Okay, the, the second question is, are you playing with the flash disk or are you gonna play with the laptop? Which one are you gonna playing with the flash disk? Uh, yeah, USB, USB. Uh, this a USB, what you call? USB, USB disk, right? Oh, you, you play with the USB disk. So who else playing with the laptop? Oh, you are. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's a very controversial because about DJing we have a check, very, check. very controversial. Last time we have a controversial between check, the check, final check, and the digital, check, 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 right? Check, 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 and check, after check, that, check, check. and after that we have a uh, this one controller against the CDJ. People say that uh, this 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 product don't have a future because this is a toy. But now this is the future. The controller is the future of DJing because some of the DJ playing mobile and they only carrying this with their laptop. That's why this product is made. So never, never, never told and uh, never tell about about this product when you call it a toy because it's a it's a have have a layer. For this one, maybe it's a for a low-end product, but we have a middle-end product for the DDJ uh, RR. Now we have launched the DDJ 800, just launched by Pioneer DJ Global, maybe around two days ago or one day ago, one day ago. And for the professional one, we have the DDJ 1000, 
and the other one we have the DDJ RZ. The controversial now we have the controller against the DJ system because it's uh, you can plug in with the USB now. So you must know the difference between our product. Don't tell about the DJ system is a controller. No. The XDJ RR, the XDJ RX2 is a DJ system. You can play like uh, like a CDJ, but it's a one product. You just plug in the USB, but it also can play with the laptop. So you must know about our uh, products. Okay, I will continue with the low-end product. This is uh, our low-end product, DDJ400, but we have another one, the DDJ1000. All is a record box controller. We also have the Serato controller named DDJ SB3 and a DDJ SR2 and also SX3. So you must know the difference between what software you use. It's not all about record box. We have the Serato one also. So don't con confuse about that. That's the main problem. Because some of the DJ may be already familiar with the Serato one. But sometimes they choose the wrong side. One of the DJ in uh, Malang, he play with the Serato, but he buy the DDJ RR last time. So he must install another software and then change the, the, the song list to the to the to the another software. So please choose which one you, you want to buy. So okay, do you have a question? Maybe I, I'm so sorry because my English is not is not good, you know. <laughs> it's not good as Acha and Mikey maybe, but if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, just raise up your hand. It's a sharing session. Okay? Okay, this is the DDJ400. Uh, this is a record box DJ club standard layout. And you have a new tutorial feature when you play with your record box uh, DJ performance. There is a, when, when you just connect the product with the software, you have a tutorial. So you, you can learn about everything, the product there. There is a video there. Okay? You can see this is uh, the system. I think it's very. It's a uh, maybe a perfect one for you guys want to practice or maybe have a private party at home. But I don't recommend you to use this in the club because this is a very low end product. But if you have something like a DDJ 1000 and you want to play at the club, maybe it's the perfect one. Okay? Okay, this is the key feature. You have the club style layout. You have the trim, uh, mid, low, high there. And then you also have the jog dial, but the small jog dial there. And then the player section, you have the two both sides, right? It's a uh, two, what do you call for this? Mixer. Uh, yeah, two channel mixer. Two channel mixer. And then uh, for the mixer station, you have the EQ knob. And then the, 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 the layout is almost the same with the CDJ one for the uh, DJM 900 Nexus 2. It's very famous maybe in, 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 the, in the whole world because it's the club standard now. And then for the other feature, you have the built-in sound card. Uh, mic input also you have. And then uh, for the USB grab handles and the class components, it's already there also. And it connect with the record box. Now the version is already 5.5, the new one. We have I admit it that we have a lot of problem with the record box four, long time ago. But with the yeah. record box five, record box four is basically just good for like uh, preparing your set list for like uh, exporting to USB. But if you try DJing with the record box four, it's basically shit. So, <laughs> so, 
uh, I'm, I'm going to speak yeah. frankly as a DJ because yeah. I've been trying because, the, because the this everything. Is, because this is the sharing session, so I, yeah. I, will, I will tell you the truth. Yeah. I also say the record box 4 is not perfect, but with the record box 5, yes, they completely you have a perfect performance now. You don't worry about everything uh, delaying, you don't worry about uh, sometimes your laptop is cracking or something, but with record box 5, everything is already perfect. Uh, maybe uh, from a from a DJ standpoint uh, about this gear, because uh, I've, I've I've used record box ever since they got out, but uh, mainly use it to uh, to prepare my set list, like to put music on my USBs and everything. So I got ho my whole collection uh, in my record box, so I can just like transfer it to USB before I play. Uh, this entry level controller it's a good backup to have like for example uh, if you're in Bali and you got to play somewhere where they, you, they don't have the equipment like 707 you got to bring your own equipment so the good thing about having this controller is because it uses record box so your whole collection is there if you have like if you if you use like record box to to for your USB and then you have a tractor controller it means you're doing your whole collection twice. But for me, I, I don't like that because I'm basically lazy. But with this controller, this is this this is this is basically an entry level controller. It can help you to mix. It can help you mix from A to B for like a normal set. Yeah, you can do it in here. You can do everything in here. And because it supports record box, you don't need uh to collection your whole collection is in record box so you can go from like playing USB and go from playing here and everything is there so I think this is this is good for like a backup system for us professional DJs or for everyone that's just starting DJing you can use this to practice because it, it comes uh, with a automatic tutorial on how to DJ you can use it to practice uh, and also it's already uh Built with the with the effects. Yes, they got effects and everything. So, this is thi this is a good entry level controller. Well, the DDJ one thousand, it's it's next level stuff. I think maybe later we'll talk about the DDJ one thousand. Yeah, maybe later. Now we we gonna have this. What is the new one uh, between uh, DDJ RB? Because this is the the new one. Last time we have the DDJ RB. And now this is the replacement of DDJ RB. The name is DDJ 400. What is the new one? Thanks to this man, he just mentioned this button. Last time in the DDJ RB we don't have this one, the the the, the, the loop section. Now we have, and also the 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 whole section in the mixer now change. It's like a DD, uh, DJM 900 Nexus, like it's not. Uh, yeah, so so I think that the redesign from from this from the RB from the previous controller mm -hmm. into this one is this one it's made to emulate a uh, club setup. So the l the layout, as you can see, it's kind of like a CDJ, like a mini mini version of a CDJ. They got like uh, the faders, they got the cue point, and it's, it's all CDJ style, including the new uh, loop, the new <laughs> loop section. It's exactly like the one in CDJs. So, like I said, if you if you have this for like a backup system, you can go from like U USB and playing on the CDJs, and then when you have to play with a controller, it's it's all in a familiar setup, just like mini 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 mini. So you can still use it. So, I think this is a good entry level backup controller, especially if you're using record box. Okay. I continue with the the layout. So um, I'm playing with the DDJRB, uh -huh. so the version before, and what is also a very very positive point. Can I show? Is uh, uh, this one? This one. The effects, the effect section here. Before it was just uh, yeah knobs and buttons, and now you have exactly you can fade it in on off. It's definitely an upgrade that is to mention. I think. Yeah. Okay, we and also for the for the audio output you have the you only have the 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 RCA 
unfortunately. But with the DDJ1000 and 100, you have another choice for the audio output and input. Okay. And this is the carrier back. And this is the. We we try to we try to make the, the the section of the DJ. So this is the hobby DJ. We call it in Pioneer is the hobby DJ. This is the general DJ, the pro DJ, and top hundred DJ. Mostly we, top hundred DJ always playing with the two uh, the Nexus two. The pro DJ maybe they playing with the uh, some of them maybe playing at the professional control such as a uh, DDJ. RZ or AZ for the general DJ now it's dominating by the controller and the DJ system that's why I told you that this is the future of the system of Pioneer DJ now last time is dominating by the small CDJ and small mixer now it's getting changing changing shifting to the controller and DJ system and for the hobby DJ, mostly they play with the small one because, sorry? Who asking? Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> because mostly they, 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 they change, uh, uh, they, they mobile. Sometimes they're practicing, uh, practicing at home. Maybe they playing at the uh, private party, birthday party, or maybe at the wedding party. Okay, and next, uh, this is the layout. This is the, like I mentioned before, this is the loop section. And this is the channel matter for the view matter. And for the headphone queue, this is already uh, for the DG, uh, already DGM style. And for the effects, bit effects, we have some kind like a similar with the DGM style and also we already upgrading for the tempo uh, slider, same position as the CDJ. Okay. And when you want to put your mic, you can plug in the, the mic right here and the headphone you have uh, in here. Okay. Maybe Echa, you want? Okay. I think. I think what's what's we are we're coming here and here tonight is actually want to talk about the record box DJ s software. Oh, you want to change? Yes, just the software. Yeah, o the open the software. Oh, you want to open the software? Yes. Okay. So yeah, uh, I think this is just a, a standard entry level controller. Like you can you can have it for to practice and everything. But I think that's once, well that's okay. Let's close this first. That's why uh, uh, I already mentioned when you plug in the, the, the hardware with the and the software, you have the tutorial. That's the tutorial, it's already okay. automatically plugged uh, there. Okay, so uh, the record box DJ, it's basically an extension of a uh, record box uh, software. So, this is like what what I we or I also normally use to prepare my set. Like you know, this one the record box where you can send your songs and playlists and everything. Yes, it's the same. Yes. Same playlist and everything. So when you download record box and have been using record box for like preparing your set and set list and everything. Uh, I think if you look at the uh, left, uh, upper left corner. Yeah, oh. it's, 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 this is the updated one, the 5.5. Uh, it's basically if you use it to like create your playlist, smart playlist, and everything. I think we already discussed about the smart playlist and everything on the previous uh, workshop. The so previous workshop, you or you only explain about the record box management, right? Yeah, and oh. now we enter the performance mode of record box. So the performance mode, 
truthfully, when, when, when Pioneer first asked me to do this workshop, I was kind of hesitant. Why? Because I've been there. I've played with Serato. I've played with Tractor. I've played with Final. I've played with Controller. And I was thinking like, oh, no, another controller, another software. But, and then I tried the record box performance. And the first thing I noticed, the difference between Serato and Tractor is, is how light it is. Because I'm using a Windows computer. I don't use a uh, Mac laptop. I don't use a Mac laptop. I'm using a Windows computer. And I can run four decks with a synthesizer, sampler, and sequencer running with no problems at all. Oh, and I, I just, sorry to interrupt again. I can testify that HS computer is very slow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> very slow. And he just switched to this record box performance, and yeah. it's pretty smooth, right? Pretty yeah. smooth. If it's really smooth. So that's the first thing I noticed about a record box. It's like, it's so light. It's y so y I, you can play with it even using my shitty computer, and you got no problems. So it's basically, uh, it's kind of like when we talk about this, it's the same like Serato tractor and everything. It's something that you can use to play. They got like four decks and you can use like set cue points and everything. They got the, their own built-in effects and everything. But I think the most powerful section and what makes Rekordbox DJs different is this part. The sampler and sequencer player. It's, it's kind of like, the tractor sample decks, but it's it's simplified yet much more powerful. Cause like the the tractor sample deck player, they got like oh you gotta play everything. It's it's confusing, it's confusing. Unless like you're at you're like a really really experienced techno DJ, yeah. I just want to share that I totally agree with Etcha because it's one of those things when I have a tractor S two. And I've been using it with Tractor, you know, the, the software. And I'm still trying to figure out how to load samples and all that. I mean, of course, I've not kind of like done my research. You can, I know I can go to the net, go on YouTube, probably watch a tutorial. But I literally only just saw this today. And I know how to do samples. And I know how to do the effects and all that. It, they just made it super, super simple. Not to be biased over like, you know, because Pioneer's here and we're trying to show off Pioneer. But seriously, guys, it's so, so simple, and I totally agree with it. Yes, yes. It's a super simplified sampler and sequencer. But it's because it's super simplified, we can explore it more. Like, it's, it's just simple. Like, say, you have, you have, you have like, like if, you're like, if you're a producer, you have, like, a kick sample or a percussion sample or, like, a synth sample. You can just, like, load it in. You can just load it in, and you can play it. And the good thing is, the b I think the most powerful feature from the sequencer is the sequencer can be synced and quantized with the master track that does, that's playing. So whatever track you're playing here, when you're doing and when you record a sampler, you can you can when you record a sequence of like percussion or drums, everything will be synced up to the decks that's playing. Without even have to think about, oh, they got this layer, they got this layer, they got this layer, you got add controllers and everything. It's already there. It's like a dumbed-down version of the sample deck from Tractor. But it's, what's <coughs> it's much more effective. It's literally, you just drag a sample and drop it, drag a sample and drop it. And it's quantized. It syncs and everything. Even if you, if you drop like an acapella sample, like you drop an acapella sample, you drop it in here, it sync to the master deck. It can, it's already like quantized, big grid and everything. It's already sync. So I think that's one of the most powerful features of this software. And they, they also have a software, it's kind of like, when you're a producer, like for example, you loop one part of the music. You loop that one part of the music, like you say, you loop this part, and then you can send it into a keyboard mode. A keyboard mode, see, a keyboard mode. It's basically turning that loop, that samples, into a synthesizer. Like you have like a sample vocals or everything. You, you, can, you can sample it and play it like a keyboard, play it like a melody. So if you're a producer, imagine like if, you, you, if you're playing live exactly. and you capture that loop, that's a little loop, and you put it, it uh, 
you put a tight loop and then send it to a to a keyboard mode. You can play it like a melody. Hecha, is it better you demo it? Uh, yeah, you can demo this, but we're gonna go upstairs because oh. you cannot do anything with this. Oh, okay. Well, well, uh, on the DDJ 1000, you can do it. Uh, are these the touchpads you're using? Like this key? This key? Y no, no, no. The, the pad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can use the sample, the, the, the slim. So I know that the, the effect's working that way, but the, I can see the um, top square, is that what it is? Yes. With the keyboard. Yes, yes, because basically you, you can like you can set the output of each pads and if, if, you, if you routed the, the, the pads into like the channel four and then you, 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 you recapture everything you do on the pads and then you can send that into it's it can turn something so simple into complex and yes, you can do it. You can send it like a melody. You can you can put like a sound sample on your decks and like play it like a melody is everything. That's how powerful this software is. And <laughs> yes. Well, it's 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 much more. It's it's kind of like uh, two CDJs and a mixer, and it's it's bigger than this. Or maybe we just go upstairs and check out the controller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe after we finish, you, you finish first, and after that, I, I will explain about the uh, key feature of the DDJ 1000. Yes. And then, when you when you see the product, you not confuse yeah. what is the key pe feature about the DDJ 1000 is better. Yes, because because uh, basically the DDJ 1000, it's like when you combine. Pioneer has a lot of products uh, other than CDJs and Mixer. They also have like the Torais SP16 drum machine and sequencer, and they have the Torais AS1 synthesizer. So basically, the DDJ1000 and the record box is all that equipment combined as one. So you got a seeker answer, you got a sampler, and you got a synthesizer, because they got their, their built-in synthesizer. Inside, it's like if even if you don't turn on the computer, they got you can play the sound because they got like a built-in synthesizer already inside. So it's a, it's I think it's next level the DDJ 1000 with record box. Like for example, if I have a laptop right now, I don't have a laptop. I'm thinking about getting a laptop because I think i want to be uh, cuz i'm i'm confident enough to bring the DD, the ddj 1000 to play in big clubs why cuz everything i can do on that and the on those on, on that controller it's like having a sampler having a sequencer and having a synthesizer into one compact product you can just like plug in your laptop plug in the output you can go you can you can do the you can do that creative stuff like samplings and everything but you need like another equipment. You need the SP16. You need the AS1, and then you need to co connect everything with with the LAN hubs and everything. It's like it's like a headache. But this you can only use the DDJ1000, a laptop. That's it. You get everything. So I think that's that's one of the most important part of the DDJ1000 selling point is you can get everything in just like in one compact unit. Yes, it uses a laptop. For me. I don't like playing with laptops, but after trying the DDJ 1000 for like a week now, I'm really considering of getting a laptop. And Sherman, <laughs> so man, Sherman is actually one of the first guy they own the, the DG, DDJ 1000 in Bali. Because I remember when I hang out at this place, they got the DDJ 1000, but because I haven't really figured it out. And now I got like a week with the DDJ 1000, and it's an amazing piece of equipment. Hey, I'm just a, a little bit curious. Do you know that the record box have uh, record box management, and then they have a record box performance? That the record box performance is you using a laptop to perform. Oh, 
You, you guys already know. Oh, wow. So, record box management is you using the flash disk, right? But you're preparing your list, your song list into the flash disk. But for the record box performance, is you are losing your, uh, you are using your laptop to perform. And we have a lot of add-on. We have a record box video, we, we have a record box DVS to play the vinyl, and then we now we have a record box lighting, record box lyric. Do you guys know about this? Yeah, so basically um, wow. <laughs> what what record box performance, record box DJs aiming is they're trying to do a one man show. Let's say you want to do a one man show. They got a feature like the record box video. It's basically you can sync up videos and visual inside the record box and just play it as your own visual without the need of a VJ. And with the record box lighting, uh, you can send uh, a MIDI DMX to the lighting console and you can create your own lighting. Like literally, you can create your own scenes of lighting. Yes. No. Yes. Not only in the back big big festival, sometimes uh, the DJ bring the the lightning by by himself, and then he performing some kind of like audio visual. Yes, yes. So basically, when we go back to the uh, export one, uh, that's why at the first time I, I asking you guys. See lighting. Who who record box lighting? Who playing with the flash disk and who playing with the laptop? Because we have we have everything in the in the record box. Yeah, so it's, yeah, your laptop sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so record box <laughs> lighting is basically, you can create your own uh, lighting sequences on record box, and then you can send those data and sync up with your set and sending that data to the, to the front of house. So, see? Actually, you can. It's a simplified system. Like, it's a simplified system. Like this is, this is the lighting, but you gotta know like, okay, number one is for the lighting in here, number one for lighting in here, okay, then you create your own sequence. Just tap here, tap here, and Yes. Yes, and you can use like the, the macro mapping and everything. If you're a VJ, see? This is the simple version. It's just like, oh, I want to set this for my first setup and I want to, this next, and I want to do this next. Just put it. In, this is the macro. This is the this is the simplified version, and put everything in here. And then when you play it, it just on a loop, but it sync to your music. When breakdowns, they, they they change during the breakdowns and everything. You you bring it everything now. Oh yes, <laughs> forgot <laughs> forgot about this. <laughs> Because we have uh, another section maybe, and we're gonna uh, explain to you about about another one with record box. Maybe uh, for another record box uh, workshop, maybe we we gonna uh, explain to you about record box DVS. But for now, we're gonna explain to you about record box DJ performance for today. So Echa, please continue. So uh, the. Um, but this software is all included with all kind of equipment, right? Or is uh, what you're talking about? Is it a f upgrade? If, if if you buy the controller, then you 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 already have the record box DJ performance only. You don't have the record box video. You don't have the record box DVS. But if you buy another one, maybe you can add on with the DVS. Such as if you buy the DGM 750 MK2 you gonna have the record box DJ together with the record box DVS. Okay, so basically I, I understand what you mean is uh, if thi is this all feature is in the record box, yes, it's all in here. But to be able to play it, you need a controller more than this. Yeah. Cause, cause, cause yes, you can do it like with a mouse, like you can play the 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 synthesizer with the mouse, but it's gonna be like less tactile. If you wanna be fully, if you if you wanna use this the whole software to the max, you can use everything. You need a controller for at least like the DDJ one thousand or the, the DDJ eight hundred. But it's already here. It's already here. 
Even if you only use this kind of controller, yes, the software is already here. But to be able to use it to the max, you need something like the 1000. Do you want to uh, explain? So like, uh, I think I think I think showing it it's much more easier than explaining it, because it's y you can r you can actually see what what the software can do. Okay, so maybe I will I will continue with the with the key feature of the DDJ one thousand first, and then after that we go upstairs, and HR will show you everything about the DDJ one thousand because everyone is curious about the DDJ one thousand. Okay. Thank you, Aisha. Uh. Okay, so this is the brother of the DDJ 400. Maybe two days ago, uh, we already launched the new product between DDJ 400 and DDJ 1000 named DDJ 800. What is the difference between the DDJ 800 with the DDJ 1000? It's a, for the DDJ 1000, you see this is a four channel. But for the DDJ 800, it's only two channel. Okay? Oops, sorry. Ah, this is the I'm so sorry, I need to explain this before you go to upstairs and see the product. This is a DDJ 1000 controller. Last time we have the DDJ RX, but everyone is need better than that. So we change the mixer section. It's look like similar with the DGM 900 Nexus 2. This is what the important thing about the DDJ 1000. So everything, when you look the DJM 900 Nexus 2, it's going to be similar with the DDJ 1000. Okay? This is our four channel designed to help you to get the most of new feature coming to Rekordbox DJ. Rekordbox DJ it means the Rekordbox DJ performance. Uh, following the release, uh, we are released on the January uh, 2018. It means a year ago. Sherman, you already have this one, right? How long you you have you have this product? Oh yeah. Oh. Oh okay. So it's a good controller. Thank you. This is the key feature. This is a portable. Uh, DJ controller with the club style layout. That's what I mentioned before. Uh, it's similar with the CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 with the DGM 900 Nexus 2. And the jock dial, it's also similar with the CDJ. Okay, it's a color on jock display and have a 14 bit effects, including uh, the new edition. And the, the greatest one is the, the fader is already back full the new one and it's a uh, multiple input and output and ad other feature is uh, you can multicolor performance pad feeling adjust uh, advanced uh, super fast search and then uh, key shift and key sync button sound color effects and the product is not like the DDJ 400 it's already aluminum okay This is the design. What is the difference? Maybe you can see the difference. It's a four channel. What else? You see this section? This is the different. This is the new one. This is the new technology of uh, the DDJ 1000 that's Pioneer have now. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe they're going to put this technology into CDJ is going to be great. Maybe, but I don't know. I still don't know about that. But for the DDJ 800, they already put this feature to the DDJ 800. Okay? 
this is the layout. It needs laptop too, unfortunately, it's not a DJ system. And you have a lot of uh, audio out, uh, a lot of choice for the audio output. You also can put mic, and it's a double USB, double uh, double. USB. So when you're performing with another DJ, sometimes you need to plug in your laptop and then change to another laptop, and the music is gonna be stopped, right? But since the our controller now have the two input of um, MIDI, MIDI it means a laptop, so you don't need to change, it means stop. So you just connect another laptop and then uh, continuing the performance of uh, the last DJ. Okay, this is uh, the target general DJ. This is the for the general DJ who mobile for me. Maybe Pioneer don't, uh, maybe not, it's not Pioneer, maybe we don't know that Mobile DJ now is getting famous. A lot of, of DJ have a have a job, not in the club. Maybe uh, after party, maybe a private party, or maybe some sometimes they they have a, a birthday party also now. Ev everything is about all about DJ now. I think, <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, so this is the feature. Like I mentioned, two USB port, and they have a two mic input, and this is the D CDJ style loop also they have, and this is for the browse the songs. This is for the jog adjust, like a CDJ have, and for the synchronize, you can have this key also, and this is the new one. This is the high res on, Jog dial. You have every information there. Maybe Echa can explain about what is the jog dial uh, high res on. Uh, this this one, the high res on jog display. It's basically one of the most one one thing that I hate from like playing with laptops is uh, you kind of like lose the connection with your crowd because you got to look for everything through your laptop. You got to know about your pitch and everything and uh, the position, especially like the cue points and everything. But with this, you can basically like put your laptop to the side and just look for the information that you need on the jog. They got everything from like cue position and everything. Sorry, yes. So like they got, you got your waveform so you know where you are and they got this. So this is, is kind of like the cue counter. So uh, let's say you have a cue point set up uh, so it's kind of like show this is your cue point and this is like if you're doing like a lot of scratching It's like the an old school trick so you know so you know where the sound is and this is like kind of like It moves back and forth so you know the position of your scratching and everything and basically It's all here like time left the keys and everything and you got the BPMs and everything. It's basically Removing that kind of like awkwardness when you're playing with laptops that the laptop face, you gotta look for everything in the laptop. You can just like put your laptop to the side and just play. If you need any info, everything is already in your controller. It's kinda like having a CDJ. The CDJ with the information and everything is already there. So that's with a on jog display and it's it is really good. I think it's 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 so it's so detailed and it's and it's it's not too bright but also not not too dim so you you can see it easily. Yes, it's an intuitive design. So it's basically just put your controls back to you. Um, you can't look at your playlist from here, right? Yes, yeah. the only thing that you need to look at your computer is when you're looking for playlists. But other than that, when you're playing, you don't, and you don't have to look at your computer. I put mine to the side, because one thing that I hate about playing with laptops is like you lose that, that, that connection with your crowd because you're always looking to the control uh, to the laptops that's it so maybe everybody is already <laughs> want to see the ddj 1000 maybe <laughs> i'm a little bit shocked because <laughs> i thought everybody gonna 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 have a curious about this thing but 
in Bali maybe different. You guys want to see the high end, right? Yeah, because uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people that comes here are working DJs, DJs that already plays in club that knows their stuff. With this this, no, so the entry level controller is like, okay, that's standard stuff. They want to see something that they can they can uh, they can use to like create a more creative style of mixing. Okay, so we're gonna continue upstairs. Uh, you guys already have your dinner because. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. One thing about the DGJ 1000, since I've just been kind of messing around with it for like 10 minutes, um, it's the closest thing to a club. Sorry. It's the it's the closest thing that emulates the kind of like clubbing <coughs> DJ setup. <coughs> so, you know, a lot of the times like people whenever they want to like start DJing, I mean, I used to kind of like always be like, "Hey, get a controller because it's the easiest way to learn. It's inexpensive and all that." And of course, like, you know, you don't want to be totally shocked on getting a DGJ 400 and then you're playing in a club and you're using Nexus 2 and you're like, wait, I've never seen this before. But after playing around with the DGJ 1000, it's probably the closest thing to a club setup that you can have. So, I mean, for me, like, I would totally go for the, the DGJ 1000, but of course, it all depends on your budget and how you want to go to. But um, I mean, you'll see it upstairs. We actually have a Nexus 2 mixer right beside the DGJ 1000, and you'll see the difference between the two. It's it's practically the same. That's why I only want to add. Uh, okay, uh, talking about the price, uh, truthfully, if I already have a laptop, if I already have a laptop, and uh, I think this is the DGJ 1000 is actually cheap. If you want, if you want to like expand your set doing like a lot of creative mixing looping and sequencing and synthesizer because if you want to do that with a usb with a club setup you need the uh, torres sp16 drum machine and sequencer and you need uh the torres as1 synthesizer all from pioneer and then you got to connect it with a lan hub and you got a like a lot of like connection you got to do so for the price I think it's a steal because you get everything. You get a sequencer, a sampler, a synthesizer, all in one. If you want to do like a real creative mixing. Yeah, so the question was the price, and I would like to know also what the difference to the 800 is for the people they are uh, into two channels instead of four. Yeah, the difference is one is four channel, one is two channel. The price That's difference. it. That's the only difference. Price difference. P and price difference, yeah. Yeah, so just backtracking a little bit, I, I just started DJing like a few months ago, so I'm using this, and so to my understanding, this is good to just get like the muscle memory of like understanding a controller and like using the software to just get used to the software and like how to organize your, your yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just, I just like don't want to skip over it yet, I just want to get that um, understanding. So uh, yeah, if we don't need to demo this, I mean, I've been using it, but if there's anything else we're missing, like that I, I don't know if I'm missing anything because I just started with it. So I'm like, am I missing something yet? But I can explore on my own, obviously. But yes, uh, for the DDJ 400, it's basically a basic, basic controller. You can use it to mix, you can use it to, to like match the tempos and everything. They got the effects, they got the, it's basically what do you see here is what you get. It means you cannot explore the more powerful features of the uh, record box DJ. Yeah. It's basically what you see is what you get. So I don't think you're missing anything. If you're just starting out, this is like the perfect controller for you. Because like when you're talking about DDJ 1000, it's something that you use if you want to expand your set into like a more like creative side where you want to be able to do like uh, cue points juggling and everything. You can do it in here, but yeah, that's 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 kind of like it's limited. It's it's only like the basic feature of the record box. All all, all the professional feature is there, but it's you cannot kind of. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, I can tell you. So I played with the version before a long time now, and I can tell you everything I missed on the older version is in there. 
and I was also like getting more into playing regularly and now I want to do a step up but this is already pretty good for learning and before you get confused by more and more options. I also want to add um no 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 I'm actually it's more of a sharing uh, thing it's not it's not about a question or anything um you know not that not to like completely like you know put this aside and say we should all go for the DDJ 1000 it's actually applicable to what sort of like setup I mean like what I'm trying to say is that sometimes you get gigs where they're like oh we don't have any DJ equipment would you like to bring this down and Guys, try it out. It's super light. It's super mobile. And this is, you can just bring this everywhere rather than carrying a DDJ 1000, which is going to be like, oh my God, I got to lug this around. This is a perfect thing to kind of just be like, oh, okay, I got a DJ at 707. They don't have DJ equipment there. They don't have speakers. And this is just something super easy and light to carry around from place to place. So it's like, it's applicable for the type of gigs and the for the type of places that you are playing as well. Not to just say that, hey, this is home practice. It actually could be your DJ setup from going from gig to gig if they don't have DJ equipment. I just want to share that. I yeah. I, oh. I also play with the version before with the RB version in a club and it's totally fine. Even on beach parties with the smaller sound system, it's all fine. I can definitely yeah. recommend that. Yeah. Uh, hi guys, I love all of you. Uh, I also found out real quick that the. Uh, oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, stop it. Hi everyone. I haven't seen you guys in so long. I must have met all of you. Man. <laughs> hey man, how are you? Um, just real quick. First of all, I love all uh, the pioneers. DJ gear. I actually just um, purchased a Wego four. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Wego four. There we go. Yeah. And actually, I found that is very, very uh, sufficient for practice. You know, you can go ahead and have it on your um, lap with a MacBook about the same size. And so, what I found to be for my personal use is the the best things is have a Wego four, a DDJ RR for medium size, and then a DDJ one thousand for the more professional at home stuff. So if you kind of mix a three controller setup, all Pioneer stuff, it actually works out really well and that's what I found to work for myself. Is that it? Okay, maybe you guys do not interest with the slides. <laughs> so maybe we just go upstairs and see what Echa can do with uh, Pioneer DJ DDJ 1000 and you're gonna be shocked. So prepare yourself and we meet you upstairs. Yeah. Thank you very much.